welcome back to the Stoner's Roundtable Podcast. I'm your host, James Emerson. Let me start out by saying I apologize for not having a video out sooner, but like parts of the country, my little part of southeast New Mexico has been experiencing power outages. So, I haven't been able to do one until now. So, But, before I showcase this player home mod I'm going to showcase, I want to let you guys be aware of something that I've been trying all day, and I don't know if it's just on my end or if anybody else is experiencing this, but I've been trying to get into the creations list all day, and every time I do, it keeps bringing up the little message, cannot connect to Bethesda.net. Now, I've been trying this all day. I even tried about two minutes before I started recording this video. I still can't get in, so if anybody else is having this little issue... Please let me know in the comments down below, because I don't know what, but if it's not just me, I have no idea what Bethesda's up to at the moment, so if it's not just me, let me know in the comments. So now, let's get into the player home mod I wanted to, to showcase, and it's called Dragonborn Cliff Home by mod author, our leader, Jim Pickens, and it's one of my favorite mods. And for simple fact being it is so well detailed I love what he did to it and let me show you where it's located on the map because I tend to forget to do this Dragonborn Cliff it's located right here by this ne Neoheim I guess close to Iverstead you also have Fort Amal Lost Knife Hideout Darkwater Pass, Snapback Cave, Darkwater Crossing. So yeah, you're it's right here in this little area, really close to Iverstead. So and like I said, this is a wheel really good mob. Now, let me show you something. Let me see if I can find it. I don't know if it's I think it's up here just to show you because this mod does change a little feature and it's the it's the entrance way to Darkwater Pass so instead of the door to Darkwater Pass you will have a little <laughs> a little well type area up here let's just give you a little better view of the player home from up here a little bit You even have a tower up there. I just... I love the detail that the mod Arthur did with this. So, let's go check out this mod. The inside of it and what all it has to offer. I like the pathway he's done here. Now we'll go down there and check the stables out here in a minute, but I want to check out the main part of the player home. And yes, I'm shooting this in first person so you can see more detail and not just my character. So here we have a statue. A nice little view of the tree. View the waterfall. I like the tree with the little pink flowers or leaves on it. Seems to go well with it. Gives it like a kind of like a oriental feel to it. Now let's check out the inside. And yes, I'm smoking a big fat one here if you want to join me. This is the Stoner's Round Table podcast after all mm. this is a nice little inside I like the setup dining area oh, oh sweet rolls you can interact with the sweet roll with the chairs but you can't interact with them so I'm going to take it that a bunch of this stuff in here is just for show so let's see what we got in here well, first off, we got the little kitchen area here, so I'm going to say this is the, eh, the food pantry. 
store all your stuff food wise it's a little small but it would work huh this must be your little apocrypha area Wow, oh, I like the effects on the on the curtains that's nice oh it even does it on the banners <laughs> nice your little potion workshop store your ingredients and your potions poisons alchemy lab I like the effects with the rooms in the background and a little wisp of smoke I said the mod author went to a lot of detail on this recipes story recipes well nice little area they went to some detail on this and plants are just for show you can't interact with them This must be for the displaying your armor and weapons. Armory. Hmm. Ah, here's your little forge and blacksmith area. Smelter. Ores, ingots. Your workbench. All of that. That's nice. Even storage for pelts. Statue of Nocturnal in here as well. Ah, this must be the main, well, not the main, okay, I was wrong, not the main bedroom, but. Ah, here's your Enchanter and Soul Gem storage. More mannequins. Ah, you can store Mirax mask here. Storage for all your spell tomes by category. Oh wow, that's a neat, nice little setup. I like how he did that. That must be for something important the way he has that set up, huh? Ah, for all your dragon priest masks. Now, the wooden mask. I wonder if you put all the mask up, if it would open up and let you put Kanarik in there. Hmm. So far, uh, this is why I love this mod. Like I said, he just put so much detail into it. I love the style of it. Check out this little area up here. Ah, this is a master bedroom. Your staff enchantments. Staff collection, your unenchanted staffs. You have a few of them in here. I'm sure you could add more to it. Your bed. Aha! The wardrobe with the false panel back here. Which you have place for your robes and your armor and boots, shields, gauntlets, helmets. This is what I love. Remember that tower off in the distance I showed you? Here you go. I was right over there when I showed it to you. Or maybe back off over here a little bit. I believe somewhere over here. But here's the view from that very tower.
like I said, our leader Jim Pickett, he did a really good job with this mod. like how he added the little water indoor waterfall that's a nice adage little swimming pool to swim in little bench area with shrine we here have another little bench and you have a secret little area underwater uh oh why did you close And you have your little secret treasury. Amulets, necklaces, unique items, rings, gems, your gold. A neat little treasure hideaway. Now, I know my friend Echo One Eyes only had done a showcase, I think maybe a year ago or so, on this. And don't remember if he ever showed all of it, but I will show all of it. You have your little hidden armory in here. Store all your stuff. Bolts, arrows. He just put so much detail into it. Go, yes, I'm going the right way. Uh, right here. You have your little dining area with your little throne. No, the wardrobes are not. They're just part of the scenery. You can't interact with them. You can sit in the throne and have dinner. Mm -hmm. I think this one. Yes, yeah, you can end with the bookshelf on that one. And of course, another little armory to display more of your your weapons and your armor. You have plenty of stored space for your stuff. This is what I like. Like I said, he this guy went to great lengths to create this mod. He even added a contain you know a container for Azura Star the Black Star that's awesome and if you're gonna ask about the notes they'll tell you what uh what weapon goes in which case which if you want to know more about the mod just come right here open this wardrobe info about my mod and he'll have three little letters which I will let you read if you choose to download the mod I'll let you read what it's all about now let's go check out the rest of the player home Down here. 
Oh, you can actually interact with these. Whoa. Is that thunder? Must be part of my new weather mod. Huh. Anyway. Um. Alright, let's travel forward in time a little bit. Let's become time travelers. Okay. So. Uh, are you serious? Oi. Any more? Okay. Anyway, here we are. With a large stable for your horses. And we come over here. We have another little picnic area with a nice little view. You can sit down. And plants are just for show. A little pool area here. Yes, you can go and take a swim here. Go around. Wait. Hold on here. What's this? Um. A skeleton tied to a stone. Um, I'm gonna go over here. I think I just discovered a murder victim I was not supposed to discover. Mind my own business. Wait, what, what? Oh. Oh, yeah, the shrine. You have a hidden little shrine in here as well. And yes. Put that back. You can sleep on the altar and get cured of all your diseases. Another little storage chest in here. It's just small. A little place to hide out where nobody can find you. Like I said, I don't... I know Echo One showed this showcase, but I don't think he showed this part. I'm not for sure. I'll have to go back and look at his video. But anyway, I'm doing this on the PS5, so... A little shrine... Like I said, we have a murder victim over here. She cannot interact with him. Knapsack empty. Well, what's the point of having a knapsack if it's empty? But anyway, before the murderer comes back, I'm going to get out of here. Ah, uh, here we go. Alright. Oh, you can actually interact with these. Nice little view of the waterfall from a little bridge. Ain't that awesome? Of course, another view of your pool. And yes, that little shrine is located right there underneath that torch or that lamp underwater. There's another view of your little tower balcony. Now, this little spot is just another little bedroom, and you can either use it as a master bedroom or follower, guest bedroom, follower. But it's got plenty of storage. A little view of waterfall. And of course, you have a An even better view.
so you know if I had to do a scale for mods and I had to give this mod on a scale of 1 to 10 I, you know I couldn't do it based on 1 to 10 I had to do a scale of 1 to 20 based on you know visuals based on detail based on you know how much effort the mod offer actually went to creating this mod and I can tell he went to a lot of effort and a lot of detail which if I had to do a scale of 1 to 20 well you quit doing that I'm not telling you to do that good she's been a little rough with me ever since the power outage so <laughs> But, anyway, as I was saying, on a scale of 1 to 20, I would hands down put this in my top tier, top tier and give this one an absolute 20. Because the detail that he went to, you know, putting the little secret hidden rooms in here, and I think he has one. The, uh... The one here under the tree, that's one. The one that leads to the tower, that's two. You have one that leads to the treasury, that's three. One that leads to that hidden armory, so that about four. He put four hidden areas in this thing, so yes. On a scale of one to twenty, I'd have to give him a twenty. Not to mention, you know, he gave us uh, he gives you this huge stable for your horses this huge deck for them to walk on nice little swimming area I mean and the fact that he added a bridge with a with a separate bedroom area with its own balcony and view that is awesome like I said he he went to a lot of detail doing this. So yes, like I said, on a scale of 1 to 20, this is a 20. And that's just for player home mods thus far. And there's a few that I like. And I will, I will do, be showcasing those for the PS5 versions on future episodes. But for now since I have a good stable internet connection and I do have a good power connection so far I mean I haven't had any outages all day today so thank God for that but like I said this is the Dragonborn Cliff Home by our leader Jim Pickens and it is my top one of my top 20 I give it a 20 on my scale so let me know what you think ladies and gentlemen also like I said at the beginning let me hear what you think about the little issue about not being able to get into the creation list like I said every time I do it says cannot connect to Bethesda.net so if you're having the same issue comment down below let me know like I said I have no idea what Bethesda is up to so who knows at this point in time maybe they're trying to either screw some more things up or let's hope they're trying to fix it I highly doubt it anyway ladies and gentlemen this is this is my showcase of one of my top 20 mods or in player homes category I will see you on the next episode peace guys <laughs>